At the dawn of the 20th century, a quiet revolution began, one that would forever change how humanity understood light, energy, and the fabric of reality itself. The catalyst was something deceptively simple, a beam of light striking a piece of metal and releasing electrons. This, the photoelectric effect, became the key that unlocked the quantum world. Before we get too deep into this topic, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. This helps to bring more valuable content to the platform for your knowledge and understanding. Remember, knowledge is power. Now back to the episode. For centuries, light was a puzzle. Isaac Newton described it as a stream of particles. Corpuscles, he called them. Then, in the 1800s, James Clerk Maxwell unified electricity and magnetism, proving that light was an electromagnetic wave, oscillating fields traveling through space. The world celebrated. The nature of light, it seemed, was finally understood. But nature had one more trick to reveal. When scientists shone light onto certain metals, something unexpected happened. Electrons were ejected from the surface. It was as if the light carried enough energy to knock them free, a phenomenon that classical physics struggled to explain. In the late 1800s, physicists like Heinrich Hertz and Philip Lennard began studying this strange effect. They observed that ultraviolet light could make metal surfaces emit electric charge. It was clear that light transferred energy to the electrons in the metal. But how? If light were purely a wave, increasing its intensity, making it brighter, should increase the energy of the emitted electrons. Yet experiment after experiment showed something astonishing. The energy of ejected electrons depended on the light's frequency, not its brightness. And if the frequency was too low, no electrons were emitted at all, no matter how intense the light. Classical physics had no answer. Something was missing. In 1905, a young patent clerk named Albert Einstein dared to challenge the wave theory of light. He proposed something radical, that light wasn't continuous, but quantized. Einstein suggested that light came in discrete packets of energy called quanta, or photons. Each photon carried energy proportional to its frequency, expressed by the equation E equals HF, where E is energy, H is Planck's constant, and F is the frequency of the light. When a photon strikes a metal surface, it transfers its energy to an electron. If the photon's energy exceeds the work function, the energy needed to liberate that electron from the metal, the electron is ejected. If not, nothing happens. It was a breathtaking insight, one that defied the wave theory entirely. Einstein's idea built on the earlier work of Max Planck, who in 1900 had proposed that energy itself comes in discrete chunks. Planck's concept solved the ultraviolet catastrophe in blackbody radiation, but he saw quantization as a mathematical trick. Einstein took it literally. He claimed that light itself was made of quanta, a revolutionary leap. This single idea bridged the invisible gap between matter and energy, waves and particles. It was the dawn of quantum physics. Experiments soon confirmed Einstein's predictions. Higher frequency light produced faster electrons. The number of emitted electrons increased with light intensity, but their energy depended solely on frequency. The universe, it seemed, was built not on smooth continuums, but on discrete packets of light, of energy, of existence itself. Einstein formalized the photoelectric effect with elegant precision. Kinetic energy, Ke equals Hf minus phi, where phi is the work function, the minimum energy required to eject an electron from the material. This simple equation explained every experimental anomaly. It revealed that intensity increases the number of photons, but not their individual energy, and only photons with enough frequency could overcome the work function barrier. Einstein had rewritten the rules of physics, and in doing so had laid the foundation for a new reality. Over the following decades, scientists tested and confirmed Einstein's model with precision instruments. 
Robert Millikan, initially skeptical, set out to disprove Einstein's photon theory, only to end up verifying it completely. His meticulous experiments, measuring electron energies under varying light frequencies, confirmed the linear relationship between photon energy and frequency, and provided an accurate value for Planck's constant. The photoelectric effect was no longer a curiosity. It was evidence that light behaved as both a wave and a particle, a paradox that shattered classical intuition. The photoelectric effect unveiled a profound truth, that light, and indeed all particles, possess a wave-particle duality. Sometimes light behaves like a wave, spreading and interfering. Other times, it behaves like a particle, striking with pinpoint precision. This duality would later define quantum mechanics, influencing everything from the double-slit experiment to the quantum field theory that underpins modern physics. Light was no longer a simple phenomenon. It was a messenger from the quantum realm, whispering secrets about probability, uncertainty, and the nature of existence. The implications of the photoelectric effect extend far beyond theory. It's the principle behind solar panels, photodiodes, night vision cameras, and even digital imaging sensors. Every time sunlight is converted into electricity, or photons are turned into data, we are witnessing Einstein's discovery in action. From space telescopes to quantum computers, the photoelectric effect remains one of the most powerful demonstrations of quantum reality, a bridge between the visible and the invisible. The photoelectric effect began as a question about light, but it became a doorway into the quantum universe. It revealed that reality itself is not continuous, but composed of discrete, luminous quanta, dancing between energy and matter, certainty and probability. Einstein would later receive the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921, not for relativity, but for this, the photoelectric effect, a moment of light that illuminated the entire cosmos. If you found this content helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video. Leave me a comment. What interesting topic in quantum physics would you like to learn about next? Until next time, keep wondering, keep exploring, and keep dreaming into the mysterious world of quantum physics.